Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use operators in SCSS. Now, operators basically allow you to perform basic arithmetic on certain CSS elements. So over here in my website, imagine that I wanted to have the text for this button be twice as big as the text inside of these paragraphs. So the text in the button is going to be two times greater than the uh, text in the paragraphs. I can use operators to do something like that. So I can come over here to my style.scss file and I'm going to create a variable and I'll just call it base size. And we'll set this variable equal to 20 pixels. So now I can come down here and I can define a font size for my paragraphs and I can set it equal to base size. And then I can come over here and define a font size for the button. And we'll set this equal to base size as well. But I'm going to set this equal to base size times two. And so I'm using an operator here, which is this multiplication operator in order to make the font size exactly two times the base size. So when I head over to my web browser and I refresh the page, you'll see that the text inside of this button is two times bigger than the text inside of these paragraphs. In addition to using this multiplication sign, I could also use like subtraction or addition or division. So if I use division, the text in the button would be twice as small as in the paragraphs. Now you can also use these operators to control color. And this is another pretty common use case in SCSS. So imagine I wanted to define a color up here. We can make a, a color variable, we'll just call it base color. And we can just set it equal to red for now. So imagine that I wanted the button and the paragraph to have the same color, but I wanted the button to be a little bit lighter or a little bit darker than the color of the paragraph. Again, I could use operators to do something like this. So I can make the color of the paragraph that base color. And then I can come down here and make the color of the button that base color, but then I'll use an operator to modify it a little bit. So we'll set the background color. And I can make it base color and let's add 200. So what this will do is it will darken the button's color by 200. So when I refresh the page, or actually, I guess it lightened. So when you add, it lightens. When you subtract, it darkens. But you can see the difference here. So I have the button is a certain color and the paragraph is a certain color. But the button is actually a few shades lighter than this red color. So if I was to subtract 200, now the button should be a little bit darker than the paragraph, which it is. So you can modify different colors using these different values. And this will hold true for all colors. So if I change this base color to blue, now you can see instead of being those two contrasting shades of red, it's those two shades of blue, right? So we have this lighter shade and then down here is that darker shade. So using these operators with colors is another way that a lot of people use um, the operators. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you wanna help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.